My name is Slava Agafonov and I'm CEO of Enersoft Inc. Welcome to Smith Dowling. As uh, renewable energy transition is uh, happening right now, car manufacturers and utility services have a lot of data that they can analyze, but it's a very tedious process and usually people build tools like in MATLAB and uh, in Excel and they waste a lot of time. So our cloud analytics platform, similar to Tableau, is helping them to extract insights from the data. It analyzes petabytes of this performance data from different batteries, different chemistries, and helps them to make better decisions to cut costs and to produce uh, more reliable energy storage. Our company has machine learning and artificial intelligence in it so we can help these people to produce better energy storage. So you provide data analytics around battery usage? Yes, we provide battery analytics, battery analytics, energy storage analytics, any, any energy storage. It can be capacitors, ultra capacitors, flow batteries. And the main goal is to extract humans from the loop with artificial intelligence. So the agent actually help people to predict capacity, predict your battery lifetime. Uh, think about batteries in your everyday life. You uh, start in the morning, you have alarm clock probably with battery, your watch has battery, your phone, your car probably if you have Tesla or any hybrid. Everything is connected to batteries and this industry is growing quite a bit. Right now it's $20 billion and it will be $50 billion in just in five years and uh, Bloomberg predicts it will be $500 billion by 2050. Do you have customers? Yes, uh, we have customers. The biggest customer so far is Microsoft. They do batteries for Surface Books, Surface Books Pro and HoloLens devices. So how are they using the product? Um, yeah, so this that? is quite interesting because Microsoft is the biggest software company in the world and they still don't have software that we provide. And uh, they use this software to actually uh, help to predict performance. They have reliability team who actually test these batteries. They collect telemetry from the hardware. They understand uh, how battery perform under stress. Or if you just charge your laptop, if you charge it all day, all months, it's actually a big problem because battery is swelling and you cannot do it uh, without good testing. So you have to test all these conditions with different temperature, different uh, environment, uh, vibration, any, any stress test should be done. And uh, big companies have a lot of standards that they need to follow because IE standards have quite a bit of stuff they need to check for each battery. Describe to me how you determine pricing and then also walk me through a sales cycle. Like how, how do you target the customer and what, how do you approach them? Right now we have uh, uh, research on the, each customer. We understand flow that they have for pr production because each cu customer is unique. They have different chemistry inside battery, different uh, technologies they use. And we try to adjust our cloud platform for the needs of the each customer. Usually we start our subscription, it's a subscription service uh, for one year about $25,000 and it can go higher, 100000 and uh, bigger, bigger customers can pay even more. It depends on the scale of the customer, how many devices they have for battery testing, how much telemetry they produce and things like that. How much is your technology plug and play with a new type of battery versus the amount of customization you need to do for each battery type? Right now, we're trying to focus on the hardware manufacturers and these hardware manufacturers who actually build devices for battery testing. And we integrate with the top uh, two uh, American uh, hardware uh, testers and top two in China. 60% of the batteries actually produced in China. So we're also targeting this market and we're trying to uh, make sure that we can get data from these devices, parse it, analyze it in unified form. So when people actually see our tools in visualizations, they don't care which device they use for testing. It's all unified data in one place. They can search, group, analyze, and filter this data. They can go and drill down on each specific cycle of each battery, and they can compare performances between them. And what's stopping a manufacturer doing it by themselves? These manufacturers, they have uh, almost all of them, they have big expertise in the hardware, but they are not really good with machine learning and uh, software. These uh, tools that people actually use, they export to Excel, and people struggle with Excel. They spend 
tons of time on like building this uh, Excel spreadsheets. And if you have thousands of batteries, like if you are Samsung or Microsoft, there is no way you can do it in uh, Excel or any tools like MATLAB. So we actually automate all this process of data collection, data transformation, and data loading to our system. So it's all in the cloud. We can scale quite a bit. We can spin out new machines anytime, and we can support any size of the customer. So are you a software company or a data company? We are machine learning data analytics company, and we want to focus only on uh, data because this is our biggest asset so far. We want to build on top of this data. We want to support any chemistry, any any energy storage device in future. So if you want to support uh, grid, for example, if uh, big bigger like companies want to balance the grid, they still need battery at nighttime. So we can support data from these uh, big grid batteries and we can actually analyze it and help them to improve this performance. Some of these batteries were deployed and lifetime of the batteries 10 years, but they actually tested these batteries only for one year max. So they don't know what will this battery, how it will behave in nine years from now.